The coronavirus pandemic, in addition to all of the activity we have seen around vaccine and treatment development, has also meant a lot of interest on the part of investors in biotech and health sciences. It has also meant a very busy year last year for Sofinova Partners, which is um, a Paris-based life sciences venture capital firm. It's one of the oldest and largest in Europe. And Antoine Papiernik, who is the uh, managing partner, is joining us now. Antoine, thank you for being here. So as you look over the past year, what to you has been sort of catalyzed by the pandemic um, in terms of, for your businesses, the developments that you've seen? Well, I think the common man and woman in the street knows why, because because healthcare uh, became so important to everyone around the world with no exception. So I think that did not change the risk of biotech or the, the fact that this is a process to bring a product from, from early development to, to the market, but it changed people's opinion and people's appreciation of the, of the importance of that sector. So biotech is, is now, you know, it's the superhero of, of the pandemic. Therefore, investors, small and large are incredibly interested. Where specifically are, are you seeing opportunities in the space, Antoine? Well, I wonder, beside the pandemic and the vaccine, um, you know, there's so many diseases that still need um, medication that in fact, you know, the, the, the world is to, totally open from oncology to, um, of course, uh, degenerative neurodegenerative diseases, Parkinson, Alzheimer, orphan disease or diseases in, in children that are untreated today, there is, you know, people uh, die and they would rather not. This is what I, I preach every day. This is important. And therefore, there are opportunities uh, across the spectrum of, of human biology. Europe is um, a bit special because uh, it is an untapped market in many sense compared to, to the US. And that's what we uh, concentrate on is finding those technologies in Europe and bring them to the world scale. Just one example, if you think about it, everyone knows Moderna, everyone knows BioNTech, an American company, a European company. I think that shows you that the opportunity is here on both sides of the Atlantic. And it's for us to uncover, unveil those new companies that will ultimately bring new drugs to, to patients. And Antoine, I wanted to ask a little bit more about um, the core breakthrough there, which is the mRNA, you know, platform that that these businesses are are working off of. And I'm curious if your um, portfolio companies or or folks you're talking to are excited about, you know, working further with that technology, or if it has, you know, opened more eyes to, hey, we think this is a moonshot that we've been working on, and and now, you know, science has shown it it may be viable, it may indeed work, and people are maybe redoubling their efforts on 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 other kinds of ideas. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. RNA is is right now the focus because because it became so important for for the, the resolution of this pandemic. But RNA is is you know has been developed over the last twenty years, twenty twenty to thirty years, and now it's coming to fruition. So that you will see a lot more uh, opportunities and companies that are developing um, RNA based drugs uh, to to treat patients. We have in our portfolio companies that are that are specialists. Of, of RNA. In fact, in general, what we call new modalities, which is new ways to treat patients. So RNA is one, gene therapy, cell therapy is particularly well developed in Europe. So you have uh, leaders like the BioNTech that we just talked about uh, in Europe that have uh, technology platforms, products that are able to address uh, new disease using those uh, technologies like RNA. So it's not a fluke, it's not a, just a one-off, it's really a whole trend if you compare with, for instance, antibodies, which also took a long time, decades, to get to a point where they became uh, drugs that we can safely administer to patients, RNA is just another platform that is now uh, coming to maturity. And Antoine, from, a, from an investment perspective, for normal investors, those who are not steeped in this, because there is this, this big increase in interest, what do you think investors have to know? And is there... Is it difficult, do you think, to find real expertise on these issues? Um, is there sort of a gap between interest and expertise? Yes, and that, of course, this gap that we um, 
we, we are trying to arbitrage now for 50 years at Sophie Nova. It's, uh, it is difficult. You need to understand the science. You need to understand the development of the science into a product. So this is not for the faint of heart. Now, for um, you know, drugs that are nearing the, the public markets, uh, or sorry, that nearing the, the, the market, um, this is more understandable for, uh, for the, the, the common investor, I would say, the one who does not necessarily um, have the, the, the scientific skill set. And here, you know, the, the size of the markets are such that uh, the issue is never the market. You know, if, you, if you solve cancer, you're going to have a market. It's really about, can you address your probability of success to get your drug to the market? So drugs that are now what we call in phase three, which is the last phase before approval, those are you know, drugs that uh, by definition have a high probability of success that will um, more likely than not be approved. So there's a, you know, for, for those who want to select um, um, investments in biotech, I think outside, of course, the big pharma or the big biotech, which already are stable, mature companies, which is one safer bet, I would say, uh, the, the, the younger companies are the ones that have products that are nearer uh, the, the registration where they're going to get those products to, uh, to the market. And there are hundreds of those uh, that will be the next Moderna and the next BioNTech of tomorrow that will be worth tens of billions at some point if they, if they are successful. The tricky part is figuring out which of those there are. Antoine, thank you so much for being here. Hope to catch up with you again. Antoine Papiernik is managing partner of Sofinova Partners. Appreciate it.